asking me, Harley, do you think the paleo diet, primal diet, low carb diet, the meat focused diet, the standard Australian, standard American diet, do you think all those diets can give one mad cow disease? Well, that's a good question because we know that mad cow disease is in the US, it's in parts of Europe, and it's probably in Australia. Who knows? Is mad cow in Australia? I mean, they don't really test for it here, and we still feed bovines to bovines and do all sorts of dodgy stuff like that. So, so here in Australia, the thing with mad cow disease, Krepfeld Jackson's disease, which is a human variant of mad cow, BSE, if you don't, if you've lived in the UK between a certain time period, you're forbidden from giving blood in Australia. That's how serious it is. But why? Because we don't have a test in Australia for Krepsville Jacobson's disease, which is mad cow disease. It's a human variant of mad cow disease, aka BSE. So that's how that's how big it could be. They don't even have a test for it. That's pretty interesting stuff. Again, why test for something that could be so big and threaten the trillion dollar industries? Just saying. Mad cow disease, it's around. People are dying from it, Crestfield Jacobson's disease, things like that, CJD, it's such a big thing, and there's so much money involved in the dairy industry, the organic dairy industry, even the raw dairy industry is getting bigger now, and the organic meat and the grass-fed bullshit, it's just getting bigger and bigger. So there's so much money at stake, pun intended, that people don't want to look more into it, because <laughs> this is, can you imagine? Can you imagine if mad cow disease was actually dementia, a lot of because it's got the same symptoms, dementia and mad cow disease, and Krebsfeld Jacobson disease, CJD, the same symptoms as dementia. According to the World Dementia Report, over 36 million people on the planet suffer with dementia. 36 million. Could that be a mad cow epidemic going on? 36 million people with dementia? Who knows? Will we ever know? Because the industries aren't going to test, because when you're the a super industry like that, you're not going to cut your legs off, are you? So is the paleo diet, primal diet, low carb diet, can they give you mad cow? Well, certainly the, the flesh that we're eating from those farms in the US contains mad cow disease. And just because your cow's organic doesn't mean it can't have mad cow disease. But people say that. But then it's like saying, well, if you get bitten by a wild skunk or a fox or a raccoon, get checked for rabies. But that's a wild, organic animal in the middle of the, the Rockies. But get checked for rabies, you know. But if you're eating grass-fed beef from the, the local organic farm, and then across the road they have the mad cow disease breakout, and it's just across the road or down the thing or whatever, you know, it's like, what's going on, man? We know mad cow disease, contagious. We know mad cow disease is in the US. It's in Europe. So, you know, and who knows if it's in Australia. I mean, phew. They're just not going to be looking for it. So my opinion is definitely you've got to be careful. If you're eating the paleo diet, primal diet, standard Australian diet, standard American diet, all those diets are basically the same. Meat-based, 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 dairy. My suggestion is get yourself checked, get your tumor markers checked, get your CRP checked, get your homocysteine checked, get checked out for hematomacrosis, get checked out for a lot of things because these diets are dangerous. I mean, look at poor Dr. Atkins died. And riddled with heart disease and uh, died obese at 258 pounds. Rest in peace, Dr. Atkins. So, and Stephen Burns, who was 41, he was like one of the paleo primal, you know, full on promoters. And he died at 41, I think, for a stroke. You know, rest in peace, Stephen Burns. So you've got to be careful with these fad diets. Be careful with these things, man. Don't just like rush into it because you read someone's blog and they've got some Photoshop picture of them where they're obviously on steroids <laughs> and all ripped and jacked and like, oh, I eat bacon and eggs and that's why I'm so ripped and jacked. <laughs> it's like, you're on fucking steroids, man. That's my thoughts, comments and criticisms. Mad cow disease, dementia, do your homework, make your own conclusions and forge your new beliefs based on that. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like, share and subscribe if you want to see more of these videos. Peace.